Hi, I'm Trin Johnson and welcome to Dust in My Eye. Today we're going to have a paint along and we're going to work in watercolor on a nice bright winter scene in the prettiest colors of winter. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of any future videos, hit the cute little bell. Today I'm going to paint a little winter scene, a little vignette out of my imagination. And feel free to paint along. You can stop and pause um, as we go, or you can just sit back and watch. So I'm going to start by wetting my paper um, just in the upper half where I want the sky to be. And I'm going to wet it outside of where I want it because I want a fuzzy edge around the outside of the uh, vignette. I don't want a harsh edge. And I've just got some cobalt blue. And I'm going to add just a little bit of purple into my cobalt blue. Now remember that whatever you see on your paper right now, it's going to dry a lot lighter. So keep that in mind when you're trying to judge the intensity of your wash here, your color, because it will be significantly lighter. This is a quill brush and it holds a lot of water. Now it's, I've rinsed it out and I'm just using it to mush my edges a little bit here. Okay. This over here. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm just going to put some water in it and I'm going to flick it onto my background and get some texture. Gives it a kind of frosty feel. Now I'm going to sit back and let this dry and then come in and work on the tree line in the back. Now I'm going to work on the midground and where the tree line is and I'm going to mix a color. It's a Quinn coral, um, a little cobalt blue and some ultramarine violet. There also might be some deoxazine purple So I'm going to, once again, start out with wetting the paper where I want the paint to go. So I want a little back area over here and then a little taller area over here. And then I just want kind of a zigzaggy feel that will draw your eye in around to the to the tree line.
to see where my water is. I just added way more water than I wanted to. Hopefully that won't net us a bunch of backgrounds. <laughs> it's not really the look I'm going for right there. I'm also using a little bit of uh, Venetian red. I'm going for a little bit more of the blue. Like bluey purple with just a hint of the red. And this time I want want a harder line on the bottom side. So I did not wet paper. We're going to let that dry a little bit. While that's shiny a little bit, but not like wet, wet, I'm going to come in with a credit card, old Macy's card, and uh, scratch some trees. don't want to go too crazy. I just want some light ones back here because this is further back at this side than this part here in the front. Try a little bit there. Okay, I think we're going to let this dry now. Now I'm going to put some birch trees in the front. So I am going to take a nice flat brush. This is a Blick Studio Synthetic Half Inch. And I'm going to lift for some birch trees. Just where do I want them to come from? Okay, 
I'm using Arches paper, an 8x10 block, so it should lift pretty well. another one. These are just the bigger main branches that I'm doing. The little ones we won't worry about lifting for. Okay, now while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and get some darker trees in. Now in the very back, I want it really um, watered down because I want it really light. Also going to get my liner brush. be more muted the further away it is. So this this is going to be my lightest lightest uh, trees. <laughs> and then this area they can be a little darker. And there always seems to be some shadow area right at the tree line, at the base of the tree line. So we're going to just get that in there too. Again, in this part, I don't want it quite as uh, dark as it is. I want a differentiation between those trees which are kind of behind these trees. I want it to look like they're back there, these are in front. Okay, we'll play with those a little bit more later. Now I'm going to get my birch trees going. I'm going to 
going to stick with that same gray, purple gray color. Like grayed out. And I'm just going to go up the one side of the tree. And I'm going to take a clean, wet brush not too wet, not too dry and go up the other side of the tree. And kind of fuzz the dark edge. trying to get that birchy look. If I were to do this again, I would probably wait to scrape my trees behind the birch trees till after. I'll be very conscientious of where those birch trees were going to go because I am having a little trouble getting covering over the scraping. Not so much the, the tree line, but the scraping of the tree line. But it's it's okay. A little lighter on this side. We're going to come in here with some darker marks on top in a minute. Again, with the clean water on the side.
Okay. I'm going to go back to my rigger. Actually, I think I'm going to go to my... I have an Escoda 4. Prado. I'm going to go to that first. And I'm going to go for those um, intermediate branches. Not the real tiny ones, but not the really big ones. And I'm going to just stutter. Just let the brush stutter. Now branches come from in front of the tree, they come from the side of the other branch on a, another limb over from a different tree, they cross each other, and just kind of need to not worry about it. I don't know that I like the one that's going off the page though, because I'm trying to stick with that vignette and I think it's just too much, so I'm going to try and lift that. depending on how staining these colors are. Let's see how much luck I have with that. <laughs> There's a little bit of vagueness up there, but that's better. Now I need the patience to let it dry a little bit before I mess around too much up there. Okay, and I'm going to take this brush to do some detailing in my trunk. It's always dark where the new branch branches out. <laughs> the little, there's the little crevice in there. Just got my brush a little bit on the dry side. I have this one out. I'm going to go in the back and do the same sort of thing I was doing in the front with just let it stutter. I don't want to go too much over here because the color is a little darker on my brush than I really want it. I want to keep that part of the tree a little bit better. All right, well, we're just going to do some details. Get out my uh, liner brush again. Some birch bark going. Maybe 
these some thinner lines. Go do a little bit of grass down at the bottom. Where do I want it? I want some around the trees. I'm going to put a little more coral in my color. Just to get a little bit of um, a pop. Pretty subtle. Okay. Now just uh, I'm gonna get a little white gouache out, and we're gonna do some snow, and I'm going to add it to my mix here. bright white and just use it on my birch tree a little bit. See if I can mitigate some of the um, scratch marks from before. Finish your sentences. I kind of got a dry brush thing going on here. Just add in a little bit of actual white. Just let them pop a little bit. Don't want to overdo that. All right, we're going to add some snow. For that, I'm going to use my white gouache and I'm going to use my number six round and I just want to 
get some of this gouache a little more uh, runny. This brush needs a little more cleaning before I can do this. I'm going to have purple snow. I don't want purple snow today. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to... We need a little more water in it. The smaller the brush, the finer the spatter you're going to get. And the drier the mixture, the finer the spatter you're going to get. The drier. So I am going to move up a size and get some bigger ones too. Let's try this. Simple snowy day. I'm just going to sign it and call this one done. Come on, I just need a little more. There we go. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed painting with me, and I hope that uh, you'll come back and see me again. So, till the next time, thanks for watching. Please check out my Etsy shop where I have prints of my artwork along with all my cute little monsters for sale. And don't forget, like and subscribe and hit the cute little bell. Thanks again for watching.